So literally, used to be having a lot of red meat like steak and ground beef, but now we're replacing everything with chicken and tilapia. Place your item in the bagging. If you have your shopper's card, scan it now. Replace the item removed from the bagging area. Continue scanning. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do this before my camera dies. This is everything I got. Uh, we got first, tilapia. This will be my main source of protein every single day during the peak week. I got frozen tilapia, and tilapia is the best fish because it's actually a lot lower in fat, very high in protein, white fish. The only sweetener I can have is stevia. So basically I can't have any honey, no other artificial sweeteners other than stevia. I'm gonna be having two whole cups of egg whites every day. So I got like five, I got six of these. So this is the best kind in my opinion. Um, they couldn't get, they can get pretty expensive, but these ones are the cheapest I found. They're like five bucks for a whole carton. And then of course we got some eggs, chicken breast, Asparagus, which will be my main vegetable, and some broccoli, coconut oil to cook my food in. This is by far the cleanest my diet has ever been. I'm excited to see how it goes. Also, I can't have I can't have any pre-workout, no sauces. So I usually I usually just drench my food in Tabasco and Frank's Red Hot. I can't do that anymore. So all I can do is just season my food, eat it plain like that. So. I mean, I literally live off of pre-workout and sauces, so wish me luck. To start the day off, I'm gonna be drinking some water because I have to drink two gallons a day, so that is 12 full containers of, this is 20 ounces, so I need to drink 12 of these. So I'm going to be drinking and peeing all day long. But um, we have our first meal right here. We got uh, cream of wheat with sweetened with stevia. And we got one cup of egg whites and one whole egg. So usually I put honey in this, but I'm not supposed to. And usually I put, I just like drench my food in sauces like Tabasco and Red Hot, but I actually am not allowed to use any sauces. So we're not gonna be using these today. So plain and simple. So today is the start of peak week. So today is Saturday. So officially today, is the start of peak week, so Saturday to next Saturday, which is a show, so it's a full seven days. And for those who don't really know what peak week is, it's basically a time period where you prime your body to look the best it possibly can on stage. We're going to be increasing the water intake to two gallons from today to Wednesday to basically get your body used to flushing out water. So that's why I'll be you know peeing a lot, so that's, that's the goal. And then once you hit Thursday, that's when you start to cut the water. Um, to about one gallon and then Friday you drop down to 60 ounces and then Saturday you drop all the way down to 30 ounces so that would just be for the entire day just a little over one of these on on show day because your body's gonna start it's gonna get used to all the water you're drinking during the, the first part of the week and it's gonna continue to flush out the water as you as you cut water so the goal is to flush out all the water so then you're not holding any water between your skin and your muscles so you can see the detail. And another thing that you do is you're going to manipulate your carb intake as well. So at the beginning of this week, my carb intake will be very low. And then as I get closer to competition, three days out on Thursday, I'm going to start increasing my carb intake to where my body will absorb the carbs into the muscle and all of the glycogen and flush out all the water so I look full on stage, but you can also see the muscle very clearly and all the striations and everything. So peak week can be pretty technical. My last competition, I literally didn't even have a peak week because I was doing it on my own. I didn't have a coach. So I took a very conservative approach. I didn't do anything with water. I didn't do much with carb intake. I just kept doing what I was doing during the whole prep. And I still won, but this time it's, uh, you know, this is more of a prestigious competition. It's a national show. So there's gonna be a lot more competition and I definitely gotta bring my A game. First night between first and second meal, we're having a great fruit. So for meal number two, we have five ounces of white fish, which this is tilapia. And we have 
four ounces of vegetables. So we got asparagus here. Also adding some lemon to it just to make it a little more enjoyable. But I've actually never had tilapia before, so this will be my first time trying it. I actually really like fish. Fish is like one of my favorite things. But um, I would eat a lot of tuna and salmon, but I've actually never had tilapia before, so. It's definitely more of like a mild flavor type of fish. It's not, it's like probably the least, the least fishy fish I've ever had. I better get used to it, because this will be, I'll be eating tilapia twice a day for the next week. And, but yeah, I actually really like it. I, asparagus is one of my favorites. I prefer the, the thicker stalks. They taste a lot better to me. And then when you add a lemon to it, also put some like lemon pepper seasoning on, on both. So good. For this meal, this is meal number three. This is a pre-workout meal. We have four ounces of tilapia, five ounces of rice. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice on top of that. To season the fish and pretty much all my vegetables, I'm using a really good seasoning. Lemon and pepper from Smartly. At this point, pretty much like a week out from a bodybuilding competition, like food like this tastes really good because like you're basically hungry all the time. Especially when you get carbs like rice, it tastes amazing. You don't even have to put, you know, ranch. You don't have to use like high calorie sauces. It's just like, I'm just grateful that I'm eating carbs. So today we're hitting the back workout. First, we're starting with uh, wide grip pull-ups, aiming for eight reps. And then you go immediately to inner grip pull-ups for eight reps. You go back and forth for four sets total. And from there, we're going to cable row. I'm using a wide grip row, pulling toward my belly button. Not going too heavy during this workout, really just focusing on good stretch and contraction. And then after that, we're going to another cable row, but I adjusted it to the ground and I'm pulling upward, kind of more toward my chest. And I'm doing a little pause at the top of the motion just to get a really good flex. Next, we're doing another cable exercise. This is a close grip cable pull down. I'm actually kneeling on a pad. I just feel like I get it a lot um, more um, stability in my back and more control through the motion when I'm kneeling. After that, we're doing a cable, another cable roll, but we're using a rope and we're um, bringing our elbows outward, aiming more toward the upper back traps area. And we actually superset that with a uh, dumbbell row. So we just go back and forth. That's the workout. Next meal, we're going to be eating some chicken with vegetables and maybe cooking it, cooking it in one tablespoon of coconut oil. So, hello. So we just got done with the workout. Meal four is pretty simple. It's just uh, five ounces of chicken breast and uh, we got four ounces of vegetables, which I chose broccoli, and you cook it in a tablespoon of coconut oil. So that's what we got right here. Enjoying meal number five right now, and chilling outside. So what we have here is five ounces of boneless chicken breast and four ounces of white rice. That's what we got here. So nice outside, holy cow. Got our, mat, got our last meal right here. This is uh, one cup of egg whites and one whole egg. And I put some broccoli in there and just some seasonings. Usually I scramble it, and but then I just decided to make it an omelet and it's huge. I didn't realize how big omelets can get. So that was a full day of eating, six meals. I'm gonna finish this omelet now. So we're currently one week out from the competition. If you made it to this point, make sure you like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. And we will see you in the next one.